Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make bottle cap necklaces. These are really easy and the only pain is trying to get all the supplies which you kind of have to order offline if you kind of don't live by Hobby Lobby or Michaels. I live by a Joanne but they didn't have all of it. But they look like this and um, you can swap them. And they're chokers that go around your neck. They're super easy to make and that's what the bottle caps look like. Well, turn it around and um yeah I put them in this nice little bag so you can buy chokers um, that can go around your neck or if you don't like chokers you can buy ball chain necklaces so that they don't choke you they don't really choke you obviously but here out they're kind of hard to get unt untangled sorry um, but this is one so it can just go around your neck <laughs> sorry my Michael Jackson tee on but anyways those just look like that you've seen a ball team before and then at the end they just have a a little thing on them. anyways um so the supplies you'll need are either ball chain necklaces or chokers. Um, I got the ball chain necklaces on Etsy. Type in ball chain necklaces and I got the chokers at Etsy too. So you just type in nylon chokers and you can order those. Um, you will need, sorry I'm trying to figure out. Um, you'll need um, a one inch hole punch. I got this uh, Amazon. It's a Martha Stewart one inch hole punch. And of course, you'll need something to put in your bottle cap, like paper or whatever. So, um, yeah, you will just need paper. You can cut out from a magazine. I already have some pre cut. You'll need magnets. I got these 52 magnetic buttons at Walmart for about five bucks, I think. You'll need um, epoxy stickers which I also got at Etsy, so they kind of look like this. And they're really nice. So you can um, get these, they just stick on. Um, or you can get epoxy that you mix up and pour in, but um, I'm gonna be using flattened bottle caps, so if you're making flattened bottle caps, then you'll need epoxy stickers. And then, of course, you will let me find it. My pathetic stalling right here. Hmm. Trying to find my bottle caps. Just had it. I hate that when you just have something in there. Like, Where is it? Oh, here they are. You'll need bottle caps. This is what a normal bottle cap looks like. If you're going to make a normal bottle cap, you can just use, like, this is a Michelob Ultra bottle with one of the magnet screwed on the back. Um, then it's just a normal bottle cap. But um, I'm choosing today to use flattened bottle caps. So they don't have a liner and they just kind of look nicer. But it depends on what kind of look you're going for. I also got these at Etsy. Um, I think that's all you need. And if I bring up something, um, just know you'll probably need it. So let's get started. <clears throat> Okay, sorry, I am I look really bad today, but I'm on spring break, so it's lazy day for me. And this is my first YouTube video, so it's probably kind of bad, but whatever. <laughs> okay, so you I forgot to say you'll also need a Hawk glue gun and Elmer's glue in a bottle. Um, so the first thing you do is you get a bottle cap, and you're going to need to put something in your bottle cap, like the picture in it. So um, this is just from my scrap paper bin. I take my one-inch hole punch, and it just cuts a perfect circle for me. So right out of there, I cut a circle, and here it is. And then it fits right in there. But just pink is kind of boring. So I want to put something in there. Sorry. So I'll get a letter sticker, or one of these probably. You can just take stickers that you have around the house. And a cool color would be this turquoise one so I can just stick it on there so it looks like that and then maybe I'll stick another one. Oh, sorry it fell <laughs> so that looks like that and then it's kind of boring so I'll put another one on her so 
So I just took some scrap paper and some stickers from around the house and made this really cool little circle. Then um, the next step is going to be to put it in your bottle cap. Now this is the part where um, you can either use hot glue or Elmer's glue. Um, my Elmer's glue is kind of like stopped up right now. So um, you can put hot glue in it. Um, if it's thicker paper, hot glue will do the exact same thing as Elmer's glue. But if you're using magazine paper, you definitely want to use this or the hot glue it kind of makes it bubble up it's kind of weird but this is like cardstock so um, I'm just gonna take some hot glue and I'm just gonna put it right there in my bottle cap okay so here, just hot glue and then I'm just gonna take my paper and stick it in there and then make sure you get all the glue strands off it looks tacky with glue strands Okay, so that's what it looks like. And then, what I do is I take an epoxy sticker. Here's some. And I'm just going to grab one off my sheet. I'm going to stick it right on top of the paper. And there, you have your basic bottle cap. And if I tap on it, See if you can hear this. But it's it's a hard. So if you're going to mix up epoxy, then you're gonna need um, one with more rim to it. See, like the rim comparison. This one's really thin. It would just go everywhere. So if you're gonna use these nicer, kind of looking flattened bottle caps, then you'll want epoxy stickers. Or if you're gonna make it more home style, cool looking, you're gonna want one of these. Um. And these are also, these also don't like scratch you, like these, <sighs> little teeth on them, but, okay, so anyways, anyways, there's your basic bottle cap. Then the next thing you're going to want to do is take a magnet, which, um, these are kind of big, I think I actually have some ones that will work better, maybe not, but um, I just pick a magnet. These were like five dollars, and there's 52 of them, as I said. But they're really thick; they don't look great on these. But then um, they just stick to it. But I'm gonna hot glue this one on. So okay, sorry, my video just randomly cut off. But anyways, <laughs> um, we were to this part where we have it, and we're about to glue in the magnet. So. I'm just gonna stick a little hot glue on the back, and there it is. And then I'm gonna put my magnet on, just so it's extra secure. Because if you're wearing it and the magnet comes off, then you're like, oh crap! I gotta glue another magnet on. Dang it! And yeah. So. That's your basic bottle cap, and then you have the big magnet on the back. Um, then um, you're going to just take these chokers that you got. I'm just going to use this one out of this bag. But. And I got mine. Ow. Caught myself. I got mine pre made with washers. Then I can just take this bottle cap, and it sticks right on. So. I'll show you what it looks like when I put it on my neck. Oh, oh. And that's what the bottle cap necklace looks like. It's really cool. If you're making, um, uh, and if you want smaller magnets, like these are the kind that I had before. These big magnet buttons, they don't look good, but oh well. Um, I'm just making it for myself. Then, um... Yes, yeah, so the nylon chokers are really cool. If you really don't like the nylon chokers, then you can do a ball chain. But those aren't as easy to swap. But whatever floats your boat. So, gosh, this is a huge mess. Yes. Okay. I'm just going to undo this really quick. Sorry, if this video, it's, it's pretty like, self-explanatory on how to make these but just like a little tutorial. 
Um, it's probably kind of bad picture, but it's my first one. But if you're gonna make a ball chain, then you have this one. This is a really long one, but I have some shorter ones. And then I also have them in this kind of bronze color compared to the silver. But I'm gonna use the silver one right now. And then these, uh, you'll want a stronger, sturdier, smaller magnet. So here, I'm just gonna put it back together now. I can just like put this around my neck. Mm. Um, so like this is also magnetic obviously and then you can just like put one of those on it but that kind of falls off a little bit so um, if you're going to be using the magnetic buttons you'll want a nylon choker or if you're going to be using a ball chain you'll want a stronger magnet I got these magnets at amazon.com but these will stay much sturdier and you can like layer them up. You can make like 20 and you can just like stick them all around the necklace. That would be really cool. And um, yeah, you can just stick them on there. So yeah, that's how you make bottle cap necklaces. Hope you enjoyed. And I'm going to stick a bunch of bottle caps on here and show you what it looks like. <laughs> okay, so this is what it looks like if you put it on a ball chain. And you put a ton on there. It's really sweet. Hey guys. So, yeah, that's how you make bottle cap necklaces. If you have any questions, just comment. And, yeah, please subscribe and like. Bye, guys.